Okay, just here we're checking out Black Star Base Cab U250 combo. So we also have the 500 of this and there's a video for the 500 and it is pretty much exactly the same as this. But we'll do this one too. So back panel on here, mains input. Make sure that's all the way in. Sometimes these feel like they're in on these amps, not quite. Power switch. Also got option for foot switch, which we don't have for this amp. A number of line out options, including DI, effects loop, uh, effect levels, and also have an XLR out for a cabinet. We do ask and recommend that anything that's a level is turned down Anything that's an EQ is set to mid, drive gain down. I'm gonna flick this bad boy on. First off, to get any noise out of this, you're gonna need at least a bit of gain, a bit of master. So other controls we've got on here. First off, the knobs, we've got a built-in overdrive. So if you're playing heavy, uh, you've got different types, overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. Um, you can't switch these off, but if the drive is down, it's off. The EQ. Response is kind of different options for sound. You've got the 6550, gives you a clicky, funky bass sound. And then we've got compressor on and off with a level. Uh, option for chorus and the octave effects with the switches on the back that I mentioned earlier. Your classic modern and flat sound, so you can experiment with those. And if you need to back off of the input a bit, you can knock it down 10 dBs. We do always appreciate if people can, when they finish, turning everything back down again. And the reason for that is we find if things start off on a low level, people don't crank them up so much, gear lasts longer. So there you go, U250.